Wouldn't it be great if as a group of human beings, we could look back on all the bad things that have happened in our lives, review them without blame, and concentrate on being better tomorrow than we have been today? That's what I'd like to talk to you about. Make mistakes, learn from them, move on. When I was 26, I had already been married and divorced. I had bought a house that I didn't want, I was overweight, and I was in a job that provided little satisfaction. We've all been there. We've all made what we would consider to be a mistake. I've made a few. I made mistakes by going through life and ticking off boxes as quickly as I could, as if I was playing an, an extreme game of bingo. I didn't give myself the time to stop and think. As the years went on, things got worse. I still had the house, I put on more weight, I kept spending money, and I was still in the job that provided little satisfaction. In 2009, three things happened. Firstly, my friend asked me if I wanted to join the gym. Secondly, my cousin asked me if I'd like to join the energy consultancy she was starting, Indigo Swan. And thirdly, I decided I was going to enjoy life, because frankly, nobody was going to enjoy it for me. <laughs> I also made myself three promises. Three promises that in time, would allow me to help implement the Signot process within our business. A process that transformed our business. A process that allowed us to see rapid growth over the last three to four years. These three lessons were, number one, I won't dwell on the past. Why would I? What's happened has happened. There's nothing that I can do about it. All I can do is to learn, grow, and move on. Number two, I won't blame myself or others for the mistakes that I have made. It's easy to blame yourself for the mistakes you have made. It's even easier to blame others. To think that you are perfect. We are not perfect. Decisions had to be made and we make them. And number three, and most importantly, I was going to learn from my mistakes and look to continuously improve. No more fictional tick boxes, just enjoying each day as it came and making the most of every opportunity that presented itself to me. So, what is a signet? Baby swans, signets, making mistakes, not. At Indigo Swan, we have worked tirelessly to embed a positive culture. A culture that won't work for all businesses, but for some businesses, it is absolutely the foundation for building a successful company and implementing a positive culture. Whilst not groundbreaking, we put into place a no-blame culture. A culture where no matter who you are, you feel comfortable putting your hand up and saying, I made a mistake. Since the implementation of the Signal process, we have put into place over 100 new processes and we have seen our profits increase significantly. Imagine working for a company where, regardless of whether you're the most junior person or you're the most senior person, you feel confident to put your hand up and say, I've cost the company money. I haven't followed a process. I've sent the wrong contract to a client. I've made a mistake. I've made a signet. As a leader, I have always been open and honest about the mistakes that I have made in life and in business. This has empowered my team to be open and honest about the mistakes they have made also. Albert Einstein once said, those who have not made mistakes have simply not tried anything different. This is the philosophy we look to use in business. We want to continuously innovate. We want to continue to try new things. We want to look for a better way. 
in order to embed this type of culture and this type of process within your business, you have to have the buy-in from your team. They have to understand that, on one hand, mistakes need to be limited, but on the other, they need to have the confidence to put their hand up and say, I made a mistake. During my leadership journey, I have always wanted to challenge my teams but I've also taken great pride in being there for them on a personal level. I've wanted to be the person that they can come and speak to about anything and everything. I've helped my team with buying a new house. I've helped my team to plan their wedding. I've been there for them when they've had problems with their children, and I've helped to convince their partners that buying a dog is absolutely the right thing to do. <laughs> we have to understand, as leaders, that work will not always be ours and our team's number one priority. There will sometimes be things that go on in their private life that mean they're unable to focus, they're unable to concentrate. For me, if I can spend half an hour or an hour talking to them about anything other than work, and it allows them to focus for the rest of the day, then for me, that is time extremely well spent. So, you've been honest about your mistakes. You've got a no-blame culture. The last part of the puzzle is the SIGNOT process. The SIGNOT process is simply five questions. Five questions that you could ask every member of your team that has made a mistake. What was the mistake? What were the surrounding circumstances? What could we have done to prevent that mistake from happening? And most importantly, what can we do to prevent that mistake from happening again? Once they've answered those questions, they get together with other members of the team in what we call a Dr. Swan session. There, they discuss the answers to these questions, and they look at how they can learn together, how they can grow together, how they can move on together. Do we need to put a new process in place? Do we need to change systems? What do we need to do to find a better way? So, you have the signal process, you're caring for your people, and you have your no-blame culture. These things together will allow you to potentially see growth in your business, growth in your people, and a positive impact on your company culture. As for me, I married my soulmate. I live in my dream home. I'm at a weight that I'm happy with, and I'm in a job that provides me with a huge amount of satisfaction. I went from having an ordinary life to having an extraordinary one by making mistakes, learning from them, and moving on. Thank you.